Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am going to do an, a resin update. Uh, this is my very first resin update and before you guys start leaving negative comments and disliking the video, I am as noob as noob can get when it comes to these things as far as working with resins and things like that. All I know is I really love it, I really enjoy it, and I'm looking for some assistance if need, if at all possible, from anyone out there in the YouTube community that will be willing to help me out, because um, I have a lot of issues with um, getting a lot of air bubbles and trying to figure out some really good ideas of what I can do in reference to these um, items and things, but here's the first one. This is kind of like a Disney type thing, as, and as you can see, there are a lot of my my new air bubbles and things in here. I have not done the backs of, I guess, like almost all of these, but um, yeah, here's a Mickey one, and, and you see all those tiny bubbles. I mean, really, uh, I was told that you know maybe I'm not being um patient enough when it comes to these things or whatnot, but I am looking to, I guess, meet people here and get to know some of you crafty people and, I mean, just go from there because I really love this. This is bird feeding here, by the way. I absolutely love, love, love um, making resin pieces. Now, this one I have done. This is a butterfly, and as I said, I want to apologize to you from the jump because I know that my pieces are crap. <laughs> so that's why I'm reaching out to you guys to kind of give me some ideas, give me some pointers as to what I can do to make my pieces a lot better. As I said, this has been domed, but there's a little, um, some glitter here that I need to cut off or whatnot. And then here's another one. It's Mickey and Minnie. Oh, I apologize too if my lighting isn't all that great. And my camera is going to co continue to autofocus. I do apologize for that as well. And here's one. This has little baby acorns in it. You probably can't tell, but yeah. And then some little fall stickers and some glitter. And um, I attempted to dome the back, but it still looked like it needs a little help. So. But, I mean, like I said, I know that my pieces are not great, and that's why I'm on here posting this. And, um, here's my little Hello Kitty, and I actually use, um, permanent markers to color in her. I have not done the back. I was thinking about maybe putting some color, adding some color to some resin, and maybe doming the back. I want to, um, to, uh make some um, refrigerator magnets but I guess I'm a, I might try Joanne Fabrics to see if I can find um, some refrigerator magnets so I can make these into magnets because a lady at work would like to have some of these in magnets so and this has been done as well and like I said, I apologize for my camera. It keeps auto-focusing. And um, so here's one. I put some glitter behind it. I love my Mickey and Minnie and things like that. This one has to be done. And I love um, all the cool little Disney characters. And here, as you see, the little note sign kind of floated. But I do love this confetti. Um, it's really, really nice. I need to get some more. This one is all bird feet. <laughs> I would like to um, figure out uh, like you know different things. I'm, I'm gonna have to down the back of this, but I want to try new things in the resin, like um, I don't know, just different, different, different stuff like rice and beans and things like that. Several people like this one. I really like this one as well. This has been done. So a lot of these big heart pieces will be turned into refrigerator magnets. So yeah, 
if um, any of you guys out there wouldn't mind uh, giving me some pointers or whatnot, I see that a lot of people also do little trades and things like that to gather items that they may need. As I said, I am very new to this whole um, resin, um, but I, I really love it. This is a stone. Uh, I bought a huge, huge lot of stone and uh, figured I would put that in to a piece. But as you see, there's all of those micro bubbles and it's so annoying and here my um, glitter did not spread out the way it should have and this one has been done there's another Hello Kitty and I did order some puppy paint so uh, a couple of my people have actually used puppy paint but I suck at it <laughs> And then I um, did not do too well with this, as you see here. There's a little spot, and um, so yeah. And this has not been domed either. And then here's one. My brother really likes this one. He thinks this one's really cool. So I think I'm getting uh, maybe a tiny tad bit better. This has not been domed with um, the air bubbles and such. Uh, there's, there might be some micro bubbles in there, but and then like I used uh, did I use the paint? No, this is a marker. This is a marker. And then here's one that I was working on recently. I put some spangles in it. Um, I want to get her uh, situated. I want to fill in her eyes and nose and such so you can tell, and maybe give her some color and things but you see I tried to put a spangle there for where her bow actually would be and I did that with a couple of pieces here this one as well I put the spangle there where her bow actually is and I want to fill in her eyes and maybe give her some color and I ordered some nail art the um the rhinestones because I want to put some rhinestones on some of these pieces just real tiny though at least like one and a half two millimeters so, yeah, this one looks very bad. Right in here, um, I'm trying to see like it. As you can see that there. I had a very bad issue with some resin. And I had, it was a very bad, bad, bad to where it got really, really hot. And then it gelled up real quick, so I had to toss it. But, um,. Several people like this piece too. This is a whole bunch of um, beads and seed beads and things like that. I hope you guys can see. I have the light on, but I don't know if it's helping at all. This, I do need to dome. I do need to dome the back, but it's pretty thick too. But, um, please, I need help, guys. <laughs> I suck at this. But anyway, here's another piece that has some little mini uh, acorns in it and some uh, holographic uh, autumn flowers and as you see I tried to do the little effect here with the glitter things and I really need to fix this. I ordered some bezels as well. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a little better with that and use a lot less resin. Now the reason why I'm reaching out to you guys is because I don't want to waste all of that money of the resin that I bought and not have anything to show for it. This is of course actually one of my very first pieces and it is full of air bubbles. As you see those little tiny minute bubbles in there. This is actually a bead as well and I did attempt doming it on the back but as you see there more bubbles. So yeah. Um, here's another Hello Kitty. This one's actually okay. I did okay with this one. This one I actually used the, um, no, no, this one I used from, um, the, uh, markers too. This is another piece that has a, a um, stone in it. And the back has not been domed. So, um, here's another one that has a stone in it. 
and all of those bitty bitty teeny tiny tiny bubbles um i have figured out a way where i can get rid of all of those and in here there's a lot of bubbles and then i have some little beads in here as well here's just some glitter uh, I mean the confetti confetti glitter just a little heart and the back has not been done and uh, I hope I'm not boring you guys but I have been working on a lot a lot a lot of pieces as you see here more 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 bubbles and then uh, I attempted to dome the back these are cream savers so I have a couple of cream savers here. Here's another one. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit so you won't be at least too bored. This is very, 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 um, I guess cloudy kind of. Maybe I put in too much glitter, but it's got the little red, white, and blue stars in it. Here's another piece that has a couple of beads and full of air bubbles. And I did attempt to dome the back. It's, it's nice and puffy. Here's one too. It's a, um, I think these are puffy stickers. They're puffy stickers, and then uh, yeah. Here's one. It looks really crappy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, it has some gold foil in it and a bead, a couple of little tiny beads in it. I have not done the back. Here's another one it's very 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 cloudy i think the um glitter got down in between all of that here's one i actually like this one despite all of the bubbles it, the back has not been domed as you see a lot of my major all of my pieces are basically clear and i need to remedy that here's a cool sticker here with uh gold leaf foil in it and the back has not been done. Um, here's another one with just gold leaf. Yeah. And another flag. I worked on some pieces last night. But, um, I don't know. They're not too hot either. Here's a snowflake. And this is one too that the resin really mucked up the front. So, uh there you can see it a little bit but um it was a nice piece here's another piece a friend of mine wants me to turn it into a refrigerator magnet I'm, i might have to go out to joanne fabric to see if i can find some refrigerator magnets because the one i ordered the ones i ordered online they are entirely too small there's no way they're going to be refrigerator magnets here's another piece here that looks like a shell of some sort but it's so full of air bubbles that you can't even tell. So yeah. Um, here's another little Hello Kitty. And I did put some bird seed into this one as well. I know it looks different. Maybe even bad. I mean, like I said, I'm extremely new at this. And don't quite, can't quite grasp, I guess, the whole thing behind of um, how to keep... Uh, you know bubbles out of your resins and I've tried mixing them nice and slow and waiting and soaking the, you know just heating up the resins and I don't know but now here's a, a Hello Kitty that I actually use puppy paint on and I have to get used to that too because the bottles are really I don't know they're very I don't know how much time I have I might not have much time I might only have 15 minutes to do this so and I'm approaching that very fast so um yeah uh if I can too I would like to um get with you guys on maybe doing those trades that I see a lot on here so we can you know build up our inventory and things considering we're furloughed it's going to be a bit difficult to get the, a lot of the items that's going to be needed in order to get stuff done so but i may not be able to get through all of this but um this has been done we'll see
and then here's another Hello Kitty. I need to do, you know, I guess the reason why I picked this color is because of um, what I, the markers I have, it has to be a dark color in order for it to work, in order for it to show up. Here I put oatmeal in this one, and then I need to go in the back. But um, here's a heart, it's a big old bead in it. I don't know how I'm going to fix the back of this one. Here's another bead. I do need to clean this up. As you see, there are edges. And full of bubbles. So, you know, I feel like I've wasted my resin when it comes to um, making these pieces because I'm not going to be able to do anything with them because of all the air bubbles. Here's some more with some gold leaf inside there. I'm basically going through. Here's another one with a stone. I'm basically going through like my whole resin collection so as you see I've wasted a lot of resin <laughs> and that's why I need help and here's some I put some sequins in and then here's another one big old air bubble right there smack in the middle and I'm almost done almost done guys I need to dome a lot of these Here's some some tiny little stones and some gold leaves. This actually used to be a um, earring. So here's one with just gold leaves. As you can tell, I like the gold leaves. Here's another Hello Kitty that I uh, put sparkle glitter in and um, use marker. Here's a piece that has a whole lot of small stones. You can't really tell because of the glitter and the bubbles. So anyway, let me get the rest of these out. Some of these are real tiny. Now, a couple of these pieces, like for instance, I had a couple um, in this shape, this teardrop shape here. And uh, I had a couple that had the little puppy stickers, the little paw prints, and some um, heart uh, glitter in it. And I used, I actually turned that into a bracelet. Um, uh, and a friend of mine bought it. So, and then a couple of pieces too, I turned into necklaces. So, um, I have a mini Dremel tool and I was able to drill holes and uh, get that done. There are some pieces, these are a bunch of CBs. There are some pieces that I actually worked on last night. They're still curing. Uh, what I actually, I sprayed them because when they came out, they came out very, very, very dry. I mean, you know, like opaque in color so I had to spray them and uh, these I worked on last night and uh, hopefully 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 these are a little bit better quality um, I seem to be I seem to work out a little bit of the bubble now you know it's more um, glitter this is a Mardi Gras with a note and a heart in it, the spangle. And then here's another Hello Kitty with a little bit of glitter um, in the back there. A lot of these are basically Hello Kitty and the little strings on here are from the spray that I used for the gloss spray. And this one I was trying out something new so I put some spangles and some stones in it but you can't really tell because the glitter overshadows the stones. So here's another Hello Kitty. I know this is a very very long video. I don't even know if it's going to go through. So I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll just go through some of them. Princess Aurora and see if it's sticky stuff right there. And then these pieces are grotesque. I tried mixing some acrylic paint and this is what I got. This is awful. The only thing that looked good is the back. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to 
going to too much detail because, like I said, these are bad, very bad. So before I waste any more resin, I would like to get you guys' opinion. And constructive criticism is always welcome. And maybe I can meet some people on here that can really help me out. Um, so yeah, you know, as I said, everybody has been where I am at one point in time or another, but I'm just looking to improve and to get a lot, you know, do a lot better than what I have been. And I know there are some really, really nice people out there, so I'm seeking your help. And, uh, I guess that'll be it for now. Uh, feel free, if you would like, to rate, comment, and subscribe. But, um, yeah, leave a comment down below, please, 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 please. And we'll go from there. Thank you guys. Take care.